Kelsey. You look happy today. Yes, looks like a lucky day as mom treated me with a hot chocolate fudge as I have been helping her all morning today. Hey, that's wonderful, Kelsey. The hot chocolate. Mmm. The creamy ice cream. Mmm. And lot of nuts to top it all. Now that's what I call a treat. I have decided to help my mom regularly now for more such treats. Mmm. You really enjoyed it, huh? Okay. Now let's start the show, Kelsey. What are we going to learn today, Professor? Do you know what HCF is, Kelsey? HCF? It sounds like hot chocolate fudge. Now don't tell me, Professor. You are also going to treat me with another one? No, Kelsey. Now can you stop thinking about food for a while and let's finally start the show. Hello, kids. Welcome to another exciting episode of Math for Juniors with me Professor Total Singh and my assistant Kelsey. Hi friends. By the way, we are going to learn about HCF and HCF stands for highest common factor. Let me explain this to you by an example. Look, these are 15 chocolate cookies and these 20 coconut cookies. Wow! Cookies. Can I have one, professor? Yes, but you need to answer this first. Arrange these cookies in such a way that there are equal number of cookies of each type in each row. This is tough, professor. Give me some time. And what HCF has got to do with this? Kelsey It will be the HCF of the number fifteen and twenty, which will give you the number of cookies in the row. But how will I find the HCF of fifteen and twenty? I want to know. That's what we have math magic for. <laughs> Consider the number sixty-four. The factors of sixty-four are one. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four. Now the factors of the number thirty-six are one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty-six. Now observe the common factors of the numbers sixty-four and thirty-six. You can see that the highest common factor of the numbers sixty-four and thirty-six is four. Kelsey, have you understood how to find the HCF of two numbers now? Yes, professor, and I can prove it to you. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, and 5, and the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So, this means the highest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5. Bravo, Kelsey. The HCF is 5. This means that I need to arrange five cookies in a row like this. So now I can see that you have understood how to calculate HCF of two digit numbers. What are you thinking, Kelsey? Professor, now I know how to determine the HCF for two numbers. But I am confused about finding the HCF for more than two numbers. It's pretty simple, Kelsey. First, find the HCF of any two numbers, and then find the HCF of the number obtained and the third number. Sounds simple, but I am still not so sure. Then what are we waiting for? Come on, kids. Let's understand it better through math magic. Let's find the HCF of A 84 63 and 126 B 30 75 90 and 135 In part A first find the factors of 84 63 and 126 The factors of 84 are 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
3 and 7. Factors of 63 are 3, 3 and 7. And the factors of 126 are 2, 3, 3 and 7. So the HCF of 84, 63 and 126 is 3 multiplied by 7 which is 21. Let's solve part B of the problem. First find the factors of 30, 75, 90 and 135. Factors of 30 are 2, 3 and 5. Factors of 75 are 3, 5 and 5. Factors of 90 are 2, 3, 3 and 5. Factors of 135 are 3, 3, 3 and 5. Thus, the HCF of 30, 75, 90 and 135 is 3 multiplied by 5, which is 15. Now I am totally clear about how to find the highest common factor of even 4 numbers. That's good, Kelsey. Where are you going? I am going to grab a bite. Since I have learnt all about the highest common factor, I can go now, right? There is still a lot more to learn. So, you can put your books back. Really? What's left? Okay, kids. Any guesses? Hmm. So, keeping the suspense, let's all of us go to Mathemagic and see for ourselves. Let's look at one more problem on HCF. John wants to cover a floor measuring 90 cm by 120 cm with square tiles of the same size. Given that he takes only whole tiles, find 1. The largest possible length of the side of each tile and 2. The number of tiles that are needed to cover the floor. Since John wants to cover the floor with square tiles, the largest possible tile will have a side whose measure will be HCF of 90 and 120 and that is 30. So the largest possible length of the side of each square tile is 30 cm. Now we can find the number of tiles by dividing the area of the floor by the area of each square tile that is 90 cm into 120 cm upon 30 cm into 30 cm. Do the calculations to get 12 as the answer. So, the number of square tiles that are needed to cover the floor is 12. We still have the do you know section left, isn't it? But I'm wondering, what's left to learn now? What you've learnt till now is just the tip of the iceberg. So far, we've seen how to calculate the HCF. But do you know? There are many things that separates human beings from the rest of the animals. One such ability is the ability to count. I know, you must be thinking since number system is developed by mankind, so who else will know about counting? But do you know, even animals possess number sense. Wondering how is number sense different from counting? No, 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 it's not the ability to count or recognize numbers, but the ability to recognize that something has changed in a small collection, means noticing the change in quantity. Now, in what all animal species can you spot this? Well. The number of youngs the mother animal has, if changed, will be noticed by all mammals and most birds. Many birds have a good number sense. If a nest contains four eggs, one can safely be taken. But when two are removed, the bird generally deserts. The birds can distinguish two from three. An experiment done with the bird Goldfinch showed the ability to distinguish piles of seed 3 from 1, 3 from 2, 4 from 2, 4 from 3 and 6 from 3. The goldfinch almost always confused 5 and 4, 7 and 5, 8 and 6 and 10 and 6. 
Now you may think humans would have a very good number sense, but as it turns out, their number sense is no better than other animals. Isn't this an amazing fact? Professor, Professor, Professor Turtle Singh. I don't know where the professor has gone, but if he was here, he would have wanted us to revise today's topic. So let's refresh what we've learned so far through a quick recap. What do you say, friends? Ah, uh, uh, Kelsey, let me handle this. So, kids, as Kelsey said. It's the recap time. In this module, we have learnt that a number A is said to be the factor of another number B if it divides it completely. Common factors of two or more numbers are the numbers which divides all of them completely. HCF or highest common factor of two or more numbers is the highest. Or greatest amongst their common factors. HCF of two or more numbers can be obtained by writing the prime factorization of the numbers and then multiplying their common factors. So, Kelsey, HCF of two or more numbers is the highest of their common factors. Bravo, Kelsey! Professor, I love maths. I love maths. So, kids, we will take a leave now and see you again with some more math magic next time. <laughs> <laughs>